the cosine of the inverse sine of negative root 3 over 2. Let's start off by solving the inside of this equation. So you can rewrite this as a sine of x is equal to negative root 3 over 2. And because it's the inverse sine, though, it's, be, it's bound between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So in order to get this, it's going to be in quadrant 4. For this to take place, you're going to have negative root, over, root 3 over 2. So it's going to look something kind of like this. And this is equal to negative pi over 3. So you're going to have the cosine of negative pi over 3. You can just look at this graph again, or this, this drawing here. So the cosine in this case, it's going to be 1 over 2. So it's simply, in this case, just equal to 1 half.